morning, Boilers, and welcome to the 11th edition of Double Vision. We are here in a special place in the comm room that we like to call the island. I'm Eileen O'Gorman. And I'm Emily Wendling. This is where all the pieces come together to form the great show we've got for you today. Now let's send it over to Amber and Ambria for BBE. Boilers. I'm Amber Parks and I'm Amber Roberto and, and this, this is BBE. Radium Girls was a huge success thanks to our talented production. The cast did a wonderful job of taking us back to 1917 in this fast-paced drama. Congratulations to everyone involved. A few weeks back IHSA held their organizational contest. In our class BBCHS was ranked number one for solo and ensemble and organizational bringing us to be state champs for the fifth time ever. This is a huge accomplishment for our music department. Great job Boilers. Speaking of music, the Tri-M induction ceremony will be held on Monday. For those of you who don't know, Tri-M is a program here at BBCHS that focuses on future leaders in music. We caught up with Jared Knapper to get an inside scoop on what this experience will be like. Hi, I'm Jared Knapper. I'm a sophomore here at BBCHS, and I have been in choir for about two years now. Tri-M is a music honor society, and to be inducted, there are some requirements you have to meet. You have to have a 4.0 GPA in your music classes in a 3.0 in the rest of your classes. Tri-M does a variety of different community service projects. We host the Baby It's Cold Outside Winter Clothing and Coat Drive. Um, we usher all the concerts for music at BBCHS. We go into the community and do other service projects and do a lot of volunteering. The Tri-M induction for all the new members, including myself, is going to be on Monday, May 9th in the auditorium at 7 o'clock. It is free and we'll see you all there. Thanks, Jared. Congrats to all the inductees. Just a reminder, AP art portfolios are due today. This is BBE, signing off. Thanks, Spoilers! There's only one student in this school who is assigned to delivering the full Boilermaker experience to students and fans of BBCHS Sports, and that person is Bruno the Boilermaker. I got a chance to speak with Blake Bradley, the man behind the suit, and find out more about the history of Bruno the Boilermaker and what goes into being the school mascot. Well, uh, one day Coach Kyle Boudreau asked me if I wanted to beat Bruno at one of the football games, and uh, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I said, sure, why not? And uh, I loved it. Um, the suit that I have, the suit that I wear, the current suit, was, hasn't been worn by anybody else. Um, really? Well, I take that back. It was once worn by Zach Hollywood, but prior to that, nobody. It was a brand new suit. Um, the old Bruno, which is terrifying, it looked like a clown, Ronald McDonald, um, I don't know who Bruno was. I know a long time ago, I met the Bruno of 1965, but I don't remember the really? As Bruno, Blake attends every home football game as well as other special events. Once in the suit, he transforms into a character. You know, my favorite part about being Bruno is I get to take on a different personality. Mm -hmm. No longer am I just Blake Bradley, some kid. Now I'm Bruno the Boilermaker. And so no matter what, everybody's got to love me. You know, and everybody wants high fives and they want hugs and they want pictures and suddenly I've gone to Mr. Popularity just like that. It's awesome. So my favorite thing is just being loved by everyone no matter what and they just love me. And I think that's cool. Being a school mascot might seem like all fun and games, but it's not as easy as it looks. First of all, the suit can get pretty uncomfortable. Um, well, the night of the semifinal game when it was like negative 3200 degrees outside, <laughs> it felt great. It was the best snow suit ever. Not only is it completely fashionable, but it's also very warm. But for a regular outing, such as football games, it's terribly hot. I have to take many breaks throughout the night um, to get water or Gatorade or different things, um, but it's horribly hot and sweaty. I have to wear two t-shirts underneath it because I sweat through one and the other one, and I wear an ice vest over that to keep me cool. So it's pretty hot. Blake Bradley's role as Bruno the Boilermaker is invaluable to BBCHS sports teams. He gets the crowd fired up at home games and spreads school spirit throughout the community. You know, um, my main responsibilities as Bruno is not only to get people pumped up during the games, 
um, which is of course important, but it's being able to connect the public at the football games as well as the student Red Surge section together and building a big energy that we can throw out to our fans. But not only that, but also fostering school spirit throughout all times and all situations. Thanks, Amber and Ambria. Now let's kick it off to Maddie and Jimmy for spring sports. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Jamie's back, 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 tell a friend. friend, friend. Guess who's back, guess who's back. Guess. That's right, we're back. Good morning and welcome to BSPN. I'm Jimmy Anders. And I'm Maddie Vanna, and it's great to be back here with Jimmy at BSPN. Moving on over to badminton, postseason play is in full swing for the ladies who started their sectional tournament yesterday. Good luck to all those participating. And what is becoming the boiler usual, guys and ladies track and field took home all city honors on Monday. They are currently gearing up for their postseason. Wish them luck. Softball continues to do well, coming off of big games with Morris and Lincoln Way Central. Don't forget to come on out tomorrow to BBYSL Fields to support your girls as they take on moments. And don't forget to keep an eye out on your sophomore phenoms. Water Polo wrapped up their regular seasons on Wednesday and are putting in extra hours in the pool in preparation of sectionals, which begin Monday. Boys Tennis has some big games this week against Stag and Andrew. The team is led by Nate Benoit, Garrett Creamer, and Michael Schultz. The return of Tim Brokop headlines baseball news, and with the Thorn schools on the docket this week, they are well on their way into being title contenders. Tomorrow, girls soccer take on those who choose to be more. Come on out to support our girls as they fight for an all-city championship. That's all we have for you this time, Boilers. I'm Maddie Vanna. And I'm Jimmy Anders. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie and Jimmy. And now it's time to set the clock for the BBCHS buzz. The news in 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. go. Our robotics team engineered their way to a 73rd place finish in their division at Worlds this last week. We can't wait to see what Ironclad does in the future. Great job, Boilers. The Best Buddies Talent Show was this past Friday and featured some of our school's most talented performers. Thank you to all the Best Buddies who performed for us. You guys are rock stars. Prom attendees danced the night away last Saturday despite the rainy weather. Congrats to Blake and Hallie for being crowned prom king and queen. The sad crash was a huge success this last Thursday and helped deliver a powerful message to students about the danger of distracted driving. Watch the entire video detailing the sad crash on our YouTube channel, Boiler Media, BBCHS. AP exams began this week and continue into next week. Don't forget to arrive at your testing location, Moose Lodge, with plenty of time before the test starts. Good luck, Boilers. The Senior Double Vision airs next week, May 11th. Seniors, the day we've all been waiting for is coming fast. Make sure to keep an eye out for your goodbye in the next episode. And that's the BBCHS buzz in 30 seconds. If you think we went over, be the first to tell us on Twitter, and if you're right, get a prize. Smo still hasn't collected his prize. Now for a segment from our favorite blokes. Hello, welcome to another edition of Two Blokes Behind a Desk. I'm Jacob Bergman. His name is Michael Stoll. Um, what we originally filmed was so explicit it couldn't be aired, so instead we're going to give you a glimpse into the effort that we put into the show behind the scenes. So, The brainstorming process. Hey guys, the administrators told me they don't want any nudity in this episode, just so you know. The filming process. Do I, do I look all right? T test, test. <laughs> uh, how, how's it sound? The editing process. Hopefully now you realize how much sweat we put into this segment. Thank you. Thanks, Michael and Jacob. That's all we have for you this time, Boilers. Don't forget to tweet with the hashtag Double Vision for your thoughts on the show. I'm Emily Wendling. And I'm Eileen O'Gorman. And that's Double Vision. Double Vision.